Bitcoin has shot itself back up to that $44,000 range. And that crucially comes off the back test of this previous descending triangle that we were actually using as resistance. So we managed to flip that in support, which is one of the best things you could possibly do in the market. And we've now started to set that high up again at about 44K. So I want to talk to you about if this is going to stick, if Bitcoin is looking to drop down again or rise back up and go significantly higher towards 46, 48K and so on. This is going to be a very exciting one. There's some really, really cool price action taking place in the market here one of the big things that's actually started to happen again is that bitcoin's dominance has started to take another uptick here and you know that's quite interesting because the pattern has been so far nice big moves up followed by a retracement and then another nice big move up a retracement and are we going to do the same thing again and rally very high for bitcoin's dominance that remains to be seen but the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is that we have hit this area of resistance we didn't quite get as high as we usually do when we hit this area compared to earlier on in this month Month and uh, and we have started to already see a nice rejection here. That's all standard procedure. There's really there's really nothing you know particularly surprising about this. The number one thing that I think we could actually be doing right now, beyond actually talking about a breakout, is simply trading in a sideways pattern. And uh, you know one of the reasons I really like this idea is because it's kind of annoying. Uh, you know, and as a trader, as somebody that's been in the space for a while, you're going to agree with me that. Uh, you know, that's, that's how the markets go. Uh, you know, typically we're going to have these grand visions of what's going to happen in the market, but the reality is just a lot more boring than that. Uh, you know, a lot more unsatisfying. You know, that that's just really how the markets are. And so, you know, to me, that makes a little bit of sense. One of the key reasons that makes sense for me is because, you know, if you look at some of the moves that we've had previously, uh, you know, we've actually kind of, uh, you know, we, we can actually measure this. I'm curious if we try and extrapolate a... Uh, uh, you know, yeah, there we go. I mean, that's just fucking perfect, isn't it? I mean, it couldn't, it literally just couldn't be better than that. Let me just show this to you on a more clean chart to really make this point. It's actually quite a useful way to, uh, you know, gauge how high the market might go, uh, which is basically, you know, you just measure the move up uh, from, you know, the point where the move really started to the point where the move kind of ended, or at least where things started to cool down a little bit. Uh, and then you do the same thing from the next point where the move really started. And I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, you know, the numbers speak for themselves. It's absolutely beautiful. So, you know, with that in mind, if, if we say that we've formed the same kind of measured move in terms of uh, length that the market has traveled, uh, well, then, you know, it, it, it does beg the question of, are we ready for another consolidation pattern, another continuation pattern? Uh, you know, and obviously one of the most common and best continuation patterns we could ever form are just, you know, very, very sideways, normal bull flags, uh, you know, so that is absolutely fantastic. If Bitcoin does manage to, uh, you know, continue on lower from here, I would be looking at this next target at about $41,000 being hit, or probably 40.5, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. However, uh, you know, we did have this really good area of support here on the four hour time frame, And, uh, and, and this is actually, it's really good. I mean, you know, look at the bounces that we formed off, off this. Let's just give it a count here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bounces off this cloud right here uh you know and within a relatively short period of time you know those of you that i mean you know it is a bit of a running joke on this youtube channel that i fucking live and die by the ichimoku cloud but you know those of you that find it funny uh you know i mean it, it, i i see where you're coming from but fuck you know like it's hard to find an indicator that is this fucking reliable uh you know at the same time the daily ema ribbon just fucking unbelievable guys i mean look at these bounces here uh you know ever since we flipped it bullish i mean it, it's been a hundred percent accurate for the market so that's what out really well these are two key indicators that i love now bringing it back to the ichimoku cloud the reason i'm showing you this is because if we do end up falling back down toward that 41k level that's also going to mean an eighth or ninth test of this ichimoku cloud and I just don't know if it's going to hold. Um, you know, it, first of all, it's just not that big. I mean, it, it's definitely not small, but it's not that big. Uh, you know, second, it, it's it's on the four hour time frame. Third, we've tested it many, many times. I just I just think that this is going to crumble and it's it's going to be a big, big drop down. That's that's just what I'm seeing here. If the market ends up coming back down, uh, we've now seen another renewed opportunity at the upside. Uh, I don't necessarily think we're going to get that breakout relatively soon. And one of the key reasons for that is that this is just macro resistance, uh, and like I said i do think that you know if anything we're more likely in a sideways range again the catch to that is that if we did come back down here i just i just don't see the support holding i don't really see this move happening i would be expecting more of this so that's kind of what I'm seeing right here. There are a few ways I can actually evaluate how correct I might be. And, uh, you know, one of those is by looking at the S&P 500, and it is not on my side. The S&P 500 is 
inches away from its all-time high. If we take a look at this, I mean less than a percentage point or just about a percentage point away from its all-time high, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and at the same time, from its low to its high, it's up by 16% within a span of about 54 days, so nearly two months here. So, uh, you know, I mean, at the same time, it, it's, uh, it, it's pretty overstretched. I mean, you know, to rally up that much without any pullback, isn't normal uh you know what i think is actually so fucking obvious right now is uh you know maybe we get a little bit higher but then some sort of a double top uh you know and then you'd love to see it kind of bounce off an area like this right i mean this is where we found some uh, well there wasn't much going on here but there were two nice big rejections on the market here another couple rejections on the market here i mean this is the best place to go long really for the s p 500 uh, uh until it goes lower in my opinion uh you know that i'm seeing in this market and of course one of the very cool things about this is is um is that you guys can actually trade the S&P 500 with BingX, which is a no KYC exchange, uh, if you are curious. So uh, definitely do check that out. That is a very, very good offer. And at the same time, I also want to highlight something else to you. Bear with while I just bring this up on screen. Uh, there is a beautiful, very, very interesting campaign being run by Bybit right now, uh, where you can get a free $500 position when you sign up and start trading using my link down below. That is on Bybit which is still in my opinion the best exchange in the space bing x allows you to trade traditional finance which is super cool stocks and so on you get over 100k in bonuses just by signing up using my link that's cool but bybit is giving you a free fucking position which is uh you know potentially even cooler depending on how you view it i mean obviously you just want to take advantage of all of them there's too much free cash available here for you guys these exchanges really want your business uh so uh, take advantage of the very very cool offers they're giving you you're going to find the link to this uh down in the description below so definitely do check that out but like i said uh you know s p 500 finding something like that would be absolutely beautiful uh bitcoin's move today actually was clearly because the dollar dropped uh you know if we actually look at the dollar on a smaller time frame it was this drop right here that triggered bitcoin's entire climb up which is quite interesting uh you know the s p 500 wasn't even open back then when that happened so uh you know the s p 5 i'm sorry that the the dollar index is is pretty low uh you know to me this is basically where a bounce would start to make sense around here if not lower so anywhere here is where i'd expect a pocket of support and whether that only goes up to here or just a little bit or very very high i don't know and i don't really care either but uh, you know, for me, this is a bit of a reversal zone where the dollar has been trending down for quite a while. And again, it just lines up so perfectly, right? I mean, the S&P 500 is at macro resistance and a lot of people are probably going to get quite bullish here. Uh, you know, one of the things I like to do, as you know very well, is I like to look at things like the full flies dashboard and just kind of understand whether it's through Twitter or through metrics that are super easy to visualize, like the fear and greed index right here or the long and short ratio. Where are most people in the market? Where are most people positioned? Where are most people biased toward? And it's just overwhelmingly clear right now. We've got 55% of long traders, I'm sorry, 55% of Binance traders going long right now on the retail side. Uh, we're going to ignore top traders because they've been long for the entire year, obviously being correct. Uh, you know, and Bybit also now slightly majority long. So, you know, all of the retail traders majority long right now with a very, very, very greedy fear and greed index. Uh, you know, back up at these highs. And by the way, I should note that this number and these numbers haven't even updated yet. So we're probably going to see something even more extreme on this and probably on this too. We might see our second ever extreme fear rating within, I think, even like this entire year uh, so far, uh, you know, right here. So it's definitely a very nice, happy Christmas for us. But, you know, at the same time, uh, I'm just not totally convinced that uh, th this is going to stay. Uh, you know, b because to me, there's just a lot that's at, you know, crucial turning points right now. Bitcoin is at a macro area of resistance. The S&P 500 is basically inches away from its all-time high. The dollar is at a reversal zone for, you know, long-term moves. Uh, I think there's a lot going in favor of the bulls. And, um, and, and I would be on your side a little bit more if everybody and their fucking grandmother wasn't on your side as well. You know, and, that, and that's ultimately that. And that's the thing, you know, and, and by the way, before people start accusing me of having money sidelined to enter the market and but yeah, I've, I've had people telling me they are paying you to make this video. Yo, whoever they are, if you want to pay me to say the shit I'm saying, hit, hit me up, hit up my inbox. I'll take your fucking money, bro. Uh, I'm not getting paid to say this shit other than, you know, the actual money I make for trades. But, uh, you know, if, if, if any of you think there are some shadowy conspiracy people that want to pay me for my analysis, come come at me. Uh, I've got a CEO, you can message him and uh, 
uh, and and yeah, I'm I'm willing to take the sponsors, bro. But uh, you know, obviously, I'm long on Bitcoin. I've been long on Bitcoin since twenty one thousand dollars. So uh, you know, I would love to see it go up. And ultimately, uh, the reason I was able to hold on to such a good position, way more profit than most people have ever made in their lives, is because I'm realistic about the market. And uh, and and you know, that means that right now, uh, I might be wrong, but I'm certainly I'm, I'm certainly sticking to what I feel right now, which is that. The, these are macro areas of resistance. These are macro reversal points on fucking every market I'm seeing, uh, you know, and to me, it just makes sense that such an explosive rally. Uh, by the way, we can actually look at this on the weekly time frame. It gets pretty crazy if we if we take a look at this real quick. Uh, you know, I mean, there hasn't been a, a single pullback here on the weekly time frame since this low. Uh, down at about $24,800. We've seen this first red candle last week. The first one, by the way. And that was uh, that was in uh, in 13 weeks. Fucking hell. Actually, no, I'm not, that's, that's a lie. My bad. We had two little pullbacks here. Uh, but this was the first one since the rally really heated up. And even then, I mean, you know, from our absolute high... By the way, this is an out-of-date chart, so the real price is like somewhere around here right now. From our absolute high to our current price, we're down by a grand total of about 2%. So, uh, you know, I mean, we're really not pulling back right now. Um, you know, we don't have to, by the way. We can just form time-based corrections. We don't have to fall down. But, you know, I mean, something that rises up this high. For me, it, it, it only makes sense, right? And, 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 you know, sometimes it can take a little bit of time. We can float around at the top for a little bit uh you know before having a really really big drop that that is that is actually quite normal but uh the longer you float around at the top if you are destined to fall down the longer you float around at the top the worse it's going to be so you better hope this thing hurries up uh you know if you're bullish and if you still expect to pull back anyway i think that is really really important let me uh let me stop being bearish for a second actually no let me let me not stop i got one more try i want to show you uh here's another one um you know the uh the rsi right here which is not something i typically look at but we have got a pretty clear bearish divergence uh which has been uh at play uh, in play in, in in this market since late october so uh very very long-term bearish divergence on bitcoin here uh this is about as long term as it ever gets before uh it's either wrong or uh, or it plays out so uh you know you, you you take that um again uh for what it's worth uh the number one thing i would urge the higher iq um, viewers of this video because somehow the low iq idiots end up here first of all fuck off if that's you but second of all what i would urge you uh you know to consider if you are one of the higher iq guys uh, is are you on the same side as everybody else? And at the moment, every time I open up Twitter and things like that, I am struggling to find people who are cautious. Uh, actually, everybody is pretty happy and confident in being balls deep in Bitcoin, riding up to forty six, forty eight thousand dollars. And on that note, let me show you another chart right here. Something that we've already discussed on this YouTube channel, uh, but I want to give you an update of it. Uh, the uh, the bull flag here that we talked about, I think, in just the last YouTube video. By the way, shout out to those of you that are subscribed. You're seeing all this content evolve in real time. Really, really useful stuff. I don't want you guys to use my videos to, you know, be like, well, Sammy says this, so I'm going to do X, Y, Z. Like, fuck no, that's stupid. What I want you to do is is use this channel like the most successful traders who watch this channel use it. And all they do simply is they carry out their own analysis and they're confident in it because they know what they're doing and they've studied it. And if you're not confident in your own analysis, you have a lot of learning to do. And fortunately, you couldn't be in a better place because we've got all of those resources for you when you follow these links in the description down below, literally just down here. Uh, you can join Four Flies Gold and or message me directly with this link and uh, you can get inside of our content that teaches you how to trade. But this is the thing is that this is how the best traders have been able to use our content, uh, you know, is, uh, is, is doing their own analysis, super thorough, super well, uh, you know, and then coming to this channel and just saying, hey, what does what does Sammy have to say? Fuck it. What does this guy have to say? What does that guy have to say? Uh, you know, and and that's it. You know, you're not really. It's it's light. It's calm. It's level headed. It's not scrambling to see what YouTuber X Y and Z has to say about the market because you want to trade one of their positions. It's not gonna work, bro. You've probably already done it. It's probably not working for you. Uh, maybe this video is a wake up for you. Uh, you know, wake up call for you to realize that. You know, you've got to you've got to be a little bit more uh, honestly, honestly, then if, if, if we're going to if we're going to level with each other for a second, you've got to be a little bit more respectful of your money than that. But maybe that's a conversation for a different day. It's not. 
because those of you inside of VIP, uh, you're all getting this package for free. Uh, those of you that have signed up to Bybit, you're also going to get this package for free where I talk all about respecting your capital and the real psychological game of capital. Uh, it's different. It, it's, it's really not something that you'd be thinking of if you haven't already uh, really put this on your plate to look at. So that's important. But let's come back to the analysis here, an 8% span. And that again puts us at a target of about $46,000 if we manage to get that breakout, which we've already began. And uh, if we look at this long term chart, let me bring this one up right here. We've got another very clear area on this chart marked out since 2021 and 2022, where a lot of our reversals for Bitcoin have taken place. So this is going to be at about $46,000. And honestly, this really stretches up to actually 48,000. So anywhere over there, basically a $4,000 jump from Bitcoin's current high would make a lot of sense to me uh, for Bitcoin to start topping out at. And, uh, you know, that would be the next level if Bitcoin uh, breaks out as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, you know, what that looks like in terms of trading opportunities, it's not bad. Uh, you know, if we look at this on the eh, four hours, fine. Uh, you know, I think that uh, this range, if we, just, uh, if, we, if we put a box here, you know, something a little bit like this, maybe even remove this, uh, you know, for me, what I'd be seeing is... You know, something a little bit like this, maybe open up a position here. I don't really like it. It's not ideal. Uh, it's too overextended. But at the same time, uh, you know, the market is pretty clear in telling us that, uh, you know, it, it, it is excited right now. So if this kind of thing happens, that back test would be the opportunity to make some more money. Obviously, uh, I'm going to be making even more profit on my Bitcoin position. I'm still in my Tron position. So I'm going to be making even more money on this Tron position too. I really am making money off the market going up. It's very strange to me when people think that, you know, I'm some sort of perma bear or whatever. Like, no, dude, I'm just making more money than you. And it's because I'm more realistic than you. And, uh, you know, and, and, and that's just that's just how the market works, guys. That's just the truth of it. Uh, you know, if these kind of ideas offend you or upset you or make you uncomfortable, then yeah, you're just you're just in the wrong place, dude. You better go watch someone else's channel because uh, because this channel is actually here to make you money. So, uh, you know, that that's what I'm seeing there. If we look at some of the uh, altcoins, there's some very interesting setups here. I think on the whole, uh, you know, they are starting to look a little bit weaker compared to Bitcoin. Obviously, uh, they had their big run ups uh, much earlier as well. So now a lot of them are actually kind of in the hangover state from that. Uh, Solana is incredibly high right now. And this is actually very interesting because uh, I'm very, very curious about a uh, short position on Solana at about over here at this orange, I'm sorry, at this yellow line. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this because I have been informing VIP members about what I want to do or if I even want to trade this. But uh, what is very, very cool is that Pybit will give you $500 for free uh, in a trade um, uh, for Solana, which is super, super cool. So you've got to meet these uh, conditions to claim the airdrop, but it is a very, very cool opportunity. Like I said, it's just free money. You can open up the trade. Bybit will, you know, put this trade in for you uh, with, with capital that's not even yours. And uh, uh, if you make any profits, you can withdraw them. You know, I mean, that is that is super, super cool. And, you know, honestly, the best part of it is you'll be on the best platform in the game. So that is super cool. Obviously, guys, like with everything, uh, you know, if you're not allowed to use these platforms in your own country, then be careful, don't use them. Uh, but I will see you all in the next video. If you have enjoyed this one, you know exactly what to do. Hit up the likes, subscribe, tick the bell, do all that good stuff. That was a bit of a lie. I'm actually going to continue with some more analysis. Look at Ethereum against Bitcoin. Dying, bro. Absolutely dying. Dying. Wow. Uh, you know, and obviously this is just symptomatic of Bitcoin starting to regain even more dominance. So uh, let's actually take a look at Total 3 real quick. I'm very curious to see what Total 3 looks like um big 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 bullish breakout but it is at macro resistance right now so actually you could say that it's cleared macro resistance right you could say that this was the macro resistance and we've cleared it let's see if we can draw another box yeah the other box would probably look a little bit like this and i don't know i i think this is the main box this lower box here is the main one so you could definitely say we've gotten the breakout uh let's take a look at total two this one uh, includes Ethereum. The previous one did not include Ethereum. And um, yeah, again, you could do the same thing, right? You could definitely say we've already broken out. Uh, but bottom line, uh, altcoins have a lot more money to be made. And it might be a bit of a jaggedy path until we get there. So uh, my eyes are on Bitcoin's dominance. I want to see Bitcoin's dominance continue to rise. 
it's already broken out of a multi-year downtrend and it did not break out lightly. Uh, in fact, from the breakout point to our current level, uh, it is up by 11% uh, from 48% to 54. So uh, I must have said something wrong there. But um, but yeah, really, really big moves here for Bitcoin's dominance. Definitely not something to be ignored, in my opinion. Uh, you know, if it does continue to move up, this next kind of orange box would be what I'm looking at, which is going to put it at about 58%. Right now it's at about 54 So it'd be a nice 4% jump up, um, you know, and what that could do to the altcoin market would probably be quite destructive. Uh, and if anything, it will just make these massive rises up uh, look like bearish retests before uh, massive, massive drops. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. We will evaluate it as it comes. Uh, but that is what I'm seeing right now. Uh, very, very excited for it. Obviously, I think there's actually more money to be made in the altcoin market. So that's why I'm watching it so keenly right now. Uh, you know, and at the same time, uh, I think a lot of this is going to depend on uh, on where Bitcoin goes. I think the ultimate thing to destroy altcoins right now would be a drop for Bitcoin uh, because everything is going to look scary then. You know, I mean, if you wake up one day next week and the S&P 500 is, is bearish and it's dropped down and it's down by like 3 4% in a day and the dollar is shooting up and it's fucking, you know, the day after Christmas, it's Boxing Day. In the UK, we call it Boxing Day. I don't know what. Uh, what the day after Christmas is called in the rest of the world, but uh, you know, you, you wake up on Boxing Day and it's just a sea of red absolutely everywhere. Everything's on sale, including the markets. Uh, you know, that would definitely be something uh, quite interesting to see. So I don't know. It could happen at the beginning of the year. Uh, there was obviously a very strong bearish narrative uh, for every January, and somehow it actually tends to be pretty close to truth. Um, I don't really care about monthly analysis, you know, talking about, well, on January, this usually happens, on October, that usually happens. I personally think that's bullshit. However, uh, nobody's really talking about it yet. So, you know, and, and there is a correlation. So I don't know, you do with that what you will. Uh, again, not really the kind of analysis I do, but now I will end the video. So thank you all very much for watching. You uh, know what to do, hit up the likes, subscribe, take the bell, do all that good stuff. Check out your free, free offers. Get the free position from Bybit. It's free money they're giving you. There is no reason not to take it. Uh, and at the same time, if you want to trade traditional finance markets like the S&P 500, uh, then BingX is linked in the description down for you as well to check out. Huge, huge opportunities. Go check them all out. All right, guys. Cheers. Bye.